according to Real Clear Investigations, which is owned by Real Clear Politics, a very reputable source. James Comey had actually begun and led a spying campaign on the then president of the United States by planting inside of the uh, White House on a detail uh, an individual who was reporting back to James Comey. The information is this is two U.S. officials briefed on the inspector general's investigation of possible FBI misconduct said Comey was essentially ready for this running this is a quote running a covert operation against the president starting with a private defensive briefing he gave trump just weeks before his inauguration so here's from real clear investigations not my words this is theirs comey's white house source i would call it comey's white house spy at the same time comey was personally scrutinizing the president during meetings in the white house and phone conversations from the fbi he had an agent inside the white house working on the russia investigation where he reported back to fbi headquarters about Trump and his aides, according to officials uh, familiar with the matter, the agent who's named here, usually we don't get that kind of info, Anthony Ferrante, who specialized in cybercrime, left the White House around the same time Comey was fired and soon joined a security consulting firm where he contracted with BuzzFeed to lead the news site's effort to verify the Steele dossier in connection with a defamation lawsuit. Keeps going. Knowledgeable sources inside the Trump White House say Comey carved out an extraordinary brand new position for Ferranti, which allowed him to remain on revert reserve status at the FBI while working in the White House as a cybersecurity advisor. In an unprecedented action, Comey created a new FBI reserve position for Ferranti, enabling him to have an ongoing relationship with the agency, retaining his clearance and enabling him to come back into the FBI headquarters. Uh, again, this is Comey's spy at the White House. This is not the transition. This is not the campaign. Well, this is the White House. The pre He is spying on the president of the United States. Let me take it a step further. He said further. he didn't want to be J. Edgar Hoover. He's worse. He testified under oath that he did not was not spying on the president. Let me play this for everybody again. This is his testimony under oath. Susan Collins is asking the questions. I want first to ask you about your conversations with the president, the three conversations in which you told him that he was not under investigation. The first was during your January 6th meeting, according to your testimony, in which it appears that you actually volunteered that assurance. Is that correct? That's correct. So there it is. He said, I said the president was not under investigation. That's correct. Then pressed, here's what happened next. Did you limit that statement to counterintelligence investigations, or were you talking about any kind of FBI investigation? I didn't, I didn't use the term counterintelligence. I was speaking to him and briefing him about some salacious and unverified material. It was in the context of that that... <laughs> He had a strong and defensive reaction about that not being true. And my reading of it was it was important for me to assure him we were not personally investigating him. So the context then was actually narrower, focused on what I just talked to him about. But it was very important because it was, first, true. And second, I was very, very much about being in kind of a, kind of a J. Edgar Hoover type situation. I didn't want him thinking that I was briefing him on this to sort of hang it over him in some way. And said you were spying on him. I mean, James Comey was spying on the president of the United States through agents in the FBI that were at the NSA in the White House. He acknowledges it. He says it. He lies under oath when he says that he was not investigating the president when we know now, according to these sources, and I, and I think this is all why the Horowitz, you keep saying, why is the Horowitz report delayed? Because this information, folks, is coming out and people are talking. 